Hello subscribers and anyone else that accidentally clicked on this video. Hi all 87 of you. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so today the theme of this episode is sometimes to go forwards you have to roll it back. So stay tuned and find out. Okay so as you can see here when I turn the wheel it rubs on the exhaust. I just noticed this today. Um, you can't have that while you're biking, otherwise it's, the tire's gonna get hot and it's just gonna make a mess on the pipe. So, here's your options if you run into this situation. You can either rotate the engine. In this case, you'd wanna rotate it downwards so then the exhaust would be more uh, like curled in here towards the uh, frame. Um, so that's your first option. That's probably the best. However, it will change the distance from the chain uh, going to the back of the wheel. So you'll see that sprocket will actually be higher here if you rotate it. So you'd have to make the chain longer. And it'll also change the distance from your magneto to your CDI. Um, and I just did all those things, so I don't really want to redo them. <laughs> So the next option, um, you can try put your foot on top here and bend the pipe down a little bit, but as you can see, this one has been reinforced welded and it is not bending at all without pulling out those studs. So the third option is to cut a little slot here, bend the pipe about, uh, I'd say, five degrees, and then re-weld it in place. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Alright, so now I've finished up uh, welding the pipe. I ended up having some gaps that I had to fill with a little bit of solder. Um, usually solder's not recommended for exhaust because it gets too hot for it, but um, in this case there's no back pressure whatsoever and it's a really large surface of metal so it's going to dissipate that heat. I don't really expect having any problems with it um, since I've, I've put spray paint on these exhaust pipes before and not had it burn off. So. I'm not overly worried about that. If it is an issue, I'll just go back and weld it more later. But uh, basically, uh, I got all the gaps filled in. It's secure with some tack welds. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and bolt that right back on there. All right, now we'll go ahead and check, make sure we have pedal clearance. Yep, that's good. And now we also have Lots of wheel clearance. So there we go. I'm going to call that a successful day. I'll see you guys next time.